morning class. Please take a seat. Open up your textbooks to chapter four. We're going to be reading again. Joey, why don't you start us off? Snapshot of the period. In 1931, the French writer Alex D. Tranquilville showed out the right public to America to write about his position. He was enchanted by the bursting spirit of the young nation that he chose to write. Instead, he wrote about American culture. While he celebrated the country's energy, Joey, 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 what do you think? Oh, that, that, that's a good idea and all, but um, we should like do like a poster and like label it and draw like. We are different. At West High School, learning is not limited to textbooks and lectures. We're about hands-on, problem-based learning and learning together. West High School is diverse in the true sense of the word, and this is such a great strength for us because each kid brings their own prior expertise and experiences into group work. That's a great idea. We know that the acronym STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, but here at West High School, it goes beyond that. We're engaging our students in transdisciplinary, problem-based learning to help them address real world issues of today. Um, this, the STEM model has allowed me as a teacher to become better at what I do because I'm more of a facilitator um, of the student learning and I am seeing results um, through their work. The design cycle is the framework that we use to guide our learning. Brainstorm, design, build, evaluate, modify, and share. The first step in the design cycle is identifying the problem and brainstorming possible solutions. Rather than being presented a solution in a lecture cell format, students are instead given a problem, they get together in teams, and together they come up with a solution to the problem. Interacting with other students is very fun and it makes me feel more involved. So it's important not to just talk about things. We're going to take the solutions and put them into practice and see if they work. One of my greatest joys as an administrator is to see their solutions and their learning wow. come to life. It's hands-on, you get to build it, and it's fun to do that kind of work. The solutions that we come up with don't always work, and that's really where the learning begins. I mean, you can't, you can't pretend like everything's going to go perfect throughout the whole design and build process, so you know, you got to go back, so fix it, modify, do something, to see if it works the next time. What do you think will happen the second time? One of the most important skills that we're teaching the students here at West High School who are working on real world problems is that things aren't perfect in the real world. So what are you doing wrong then, Steve? So when it doesn't go the way that you thought it should, you go back and you modify, you adjust, and you make it work. You don't give up. When something doesn't work out, it's not always fun, but you have to figure out the good and the bad and then figure out how to fix the bad. And so it's back to the drawing board and back through the design cycle all over again. One of the greatest processes of learning is sharing what we've learned. They take their solutions, they present them to an authentic audience. So it's not just in the classroom. Why haven't they told anybody? Um, it could be the community, um, it could be the internet, um, but basically it's getting out there. I feel really accomplished and proud when I complete a successful project. And it's really rewarding to show others what we did. So the solution we came up with is... Uh, We're not replacing classrooms and teachers. We're simply changing the way we deliver instruction so that the learning that students are engaged in can be implied in a real world setting. Students become just as involved in the learning process as I am. STEM learning is more hands-on and it's really enjoyable as opposed to learning from a textbook. I enjoy learning this way. We have to evaluate our own teaching practices also using the design cycle. We have a choice. We either continue the ineffective teaching practices or we reevaluate and redesign. The problem is you must react to your partner. That type of learning is important so that students can have access to careers that are preparing them for the workforce that exists now and ones that we're not even aware of. We teach problem solving strategies like the design cycle so not only can our students solve problems in school but in every aspect of their lives. It's important for us to capture this great moment in public education because we are on the cusp of a paradigm shift. Parents and families want to see a direct connection 
between what's happening at West High School and the careers that exist in the real world. And we're providing that here at West High School. We are different. 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 We are different.